Hi friends! We are home sweet home in Memphis as you can see from my surroundings. Back in the office for a quick little chit chat video today. We had 20 hours of travel from London area yesterday if you count the time that we had to get up drive in London traffic jams on the M25 motorway, get to the airport, get the rental car dropped off, all that fun, fun, fun. But all our flights were on time, flew from London to Charlotte, North Carolina, so our first landing in the United States was back home in the South. <laughs> it felt really good to fly into Charlotte and be back in the U.S. and back down south. And we were traveling on 4th of July, which was kind of fun too. Then we flew from Charlotte to Memphis. There was a bit of a storm, thunderstorm system passing through Memphis, so we had to circle the airport. But it only added like 15 minutes or so. So we got home maybe 10, 15 minutes later than we had planned because the thunderstorm everything went fine and I even got to see some fireworks on the 4th of July because people were just shooting off big beautiful fireworks I think they can get good fireworks in Arkansas Arkansas is much more lax on the fireworks regulations and they're just across the river from Memphis like five ten minutes from Memphis so we did get to see some Good fireworks just on the drive home from the airport to our house. It was about 9 o'clock when we got home, so it was just starting to get dark and everybody was shooting off their home-based fireworks. So that was kind of fun and didn't really unpack last night. We were just exhausted after that much travel to get home. The good thing about coming this way is it's a really long day of travel, but you really just get home and go to bed. When you travel the other way across the ocean to the UK, you arrive, they're overnight flights and you arrive first thing in the morning and then you're supposed to try to keep yourself awake all day, jet lag wise, to avoid jet lag. But coming home, you get home at night and you just go to bed and that's what we did. I crashed, I crashed when fireworks and gunshots going off all around us, the whole neighborhood celebrating 4th of July. And I was just too tired for any of it. <laughs> Went straight to sleep and slept a little bit. Something woke me up. Probably gunshots and fireworks around midnight, 1230, something like that. It was kind of the end of it. Maybe it was the grand finale. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty much slept straight through till this morning when Simon was getting ready for work. Brought me a cup of tea around 7 o'clock and then I had time quiet house, to journal, have a cup of tea, two cups of tea actually, unpacked, did all my unpacking, and then I went and picked up the dog and the cat, Riley and Basil, from the kennel where they stay at Paw Paws here in Memphis. Riley gets to play with a whole pack of dogs during the day because they do doggy daycare there as well, and then he gets a little pet hotel at night. So we know our pets are really well taken care of by Paw Paws when we travel. So I picked up the kids, and we are having house guests. My dad and stepmom are going to be visiting from Michigan. They were set to arrive. They're also visiting some of my stepmom's relatives. They were set to arrive on Friday, so I thought I had a couple days for cleaning up the house and grocery shopping, restocking the house. They are definitely not vegan and... Um, don't really get into the vegan meals with us, so I'll probably just have breakfast things for them, and then we go out places that are veg friendly, where they can get what they want, we get what we want, and I don't make a big deal out of it, but they are not uh, eating vegan with us all week, so I don't have to do a huge grocery shop, which will be good, but then I just heard from my stepmom this morning, and they are now wanting to come tomorrow night. <laughs> So I have less time for cleaning and shopping and whatever. But anyways, I'm rambling. This is all my personal stuff. So yeah, about y'all. I'm back 
making videos. I think I'm going to video what we throw together for dinner tonight, which will be a video about how to pull together a decent, healthy, vegan meal with covered staples. I think I've done some of these before with a quick and easy recipes, which is just cooking from the cupboard because I haven't been to the grocery store and yeah. We don't want to go out to eat. We're kind of sick of going out to eat. <laughs> so, we are going to make a nice little pasta dinner tonight. I will videotape it and share what we made with kind of an empty larder. <laughs> Show you what we made with a house with not very many groceries. So today's just a quick check-in. My camera's actually about to die. It hasn't had any charge while I've been gone. And wanted to say I am home, Simon and I are home, happy, safe, back in the U.S., back in Memphis, and I will see you Friday with a cooking video. Bye, friends.